I'll show you how to remove the battery. I'm going to show you how to remove the main battery and the CMOS battery because you need to do both uh, to be able to properly do it. You don't want any power running into your motherboard. So your power cord's unplugged and the main battery needs to be removed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down on this plug like so. And then I'm going to start working on loosening all the screws because what can happen is if you have any sort of power flowing into the motherboard, you can make connections that aren't supposed to be there and you can end up short circuiting something. So we don't want that. So that is how you remove the main battery. Now we're going to move on to the CMOS battery. And if you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more great content. So we're going to go over two different kinds of batteries. We're going to go over coin size battery and the coin size battery with the wire, removing both. So depending on what you have, uh, we're going to start with the uh, wired one first. So picking up this motherboard, as you can see here it is. And I'm going to pull up on the two tabs, being careful because you don't want to break that plastic structure it's plugged into. You just gonna gently tug on those two uh, uh, side tabs. Don't pull on the wires because you can actually pull the wires out from the plug. I've totally done that and it stinks. So don't do that. Uh, next thing we're gonna do. Okay, now I'm gonna plug it back in. Keep in mind that you'll probably have your motherboard installed. These are just um, old junk uh, motherboards I have lying around. So you won't have to handle it quite as much as I'm doing it. Um, and that's how you reinstall it. Next, we're gonna move on to the coin size battery. This one is a kind of different installation and removal process. So we're gonna take locate the coin size battery on your motherboard. First step, I'm gonna demonstrate this one is on Dell and the other one was an HP. Uh, but it's the same process for either manufacturer. So you're going to take this uh, screwdriver and you're going to put it, insert it here and then you're going to push it towards the part that's uh, kind of over it like so and then it pops right out just like that. And then I'm going to install it and how you install it is you push it in there, push it towards the overlapping bit and just like that. Okay, so that is how you do it from one egghead to another egghead. This is Liz signing out.